All right, good morning. Check it out right here. Bacon double cheeseburger, Burger King, even though it's like 7.30 a.m. and a croissantwich, croissantwich, however you want to pronounce it. Wonder Twin Powers, activate form of the breakfast double bacon cheeseburger. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, so here's what we got. Uh, for a while I've been thinking uh, Burger King is nice enough, generous enough uh, to actually cook up burgers for breakfast. I think they're one of the only spots uh, that does it out of the uh, top uh, fast food chains. Uh, so they offer the Whopper, uh, the Big King or the Bacon Big King uh, and some others, your basic cheeseburger and things like that. I think they even do one uh, chicken sandwich. Uh, then they have the uh, plethora the plethora of uh, breakfast sandwiches. I uh, checked back in my catalog. I have not done many breakfast uh, sandwich reviews from the folks over at Burger King. So in this bag right here, I have another one. I have uh, another one. I don't know if you're going to see it today, uh, but we are visiting uh, Burger King today. And what I did was I ordered a uh, croissantwich, croissantwich, uh, croissantwich, maybe croissantwich. I ordered a bacon, uh, egg and cheese croissantwich. And then I also ordered a uh, double bacon cheeseburger, took off the sesame seed bun, and I give you on a croissant the, what I'm calling, the breakfast bacon double cheeseburger. So everything that comes on the uh, double cheeseburger or the bacon double cheeseburger, bacon, pickles, cheese, ketchup, mustard, and then I threw the uh, egg on there with the cheese and bacon from the uh, croissantwich. And this is what we got going on, a breakfast burger from Burger King. I don't know. There's probably some other people out there that have tried this. To me, it's a match made in heaven having a croissant burger. So there you go right there. One more look. How good is this going to be? Now, ideally, I would probably take the pickles off uh, since it is a breakfast sandwich, but we're going to keep it on because that's what comes on the uh, bacon double cheeseburger. Let's go. Breakfast time. <laughs> Whew, I don't film many of these. I don't do many breakfast reviews. I've been doing that whole uh, intermittent fasting anyway for the past six months or so. Uh, so I very rarely eat uh, before noon, uh, but today's the day. We're trying two items, this one that I made up and that one that is a legit menu item that has been a staple on the menu, uh, but I've never tried it. So let's go take a bite at this um, little mashup, little breakfast mashup. See the bottom right there? That's a croissant light and fluffy. I have high hopes for this. Let's go. Wish me luck. I mean, um, like what? Check it out. First of all, look at the build. Has the egg in the center, kind of like, uh, you know, that other sandwich from another place. And it just breaks up the two patties right there. Tons of cheese, because you're getting cheese from the double uh, bacon cheeseburger, as well as the uh, croissantwich. And look at that. It stayed together nicely. Nice little bite right out of the center. You want a bite? I share. I tell you all the time, I would share if you were here. Second bite, but the butteriness and the softness of this croissant with the double patties and the egg. Breakfast personified. Got the pickle right there. All right, so I'm going to say this. 
I actually don't mind the pickle in there. I enjoy a uh, nice pickle on a burger anyway, uh, so my mind isn't saying this is a breakfast burger. This shouldn't be there because it has all the components and all the elements of a, a burger except the sesame seed bun, and you're just adding the egg and you're adding the croissants. I like it. I like everything that's going on here. I think between the two, I think, was there a deal? No, there was no deal on these two. Uh, I don't think it was a deal for these because one was a burger and one was the breakfast sandwich. So I think both of these combined was like $6, something like that. So a $6 double breakfast burger. I like it. I like everything going on. This should be on the menu. I read an article that they're testing a uh, chicken biscuit sandwich with some like honey butter or something on it or some uh, maple butter, I don't know. Uh, but there's like two locations or two uh, cities that are doing the test market. And part of the article said that they're trying to get back on the top of the breakfast fast food game where I think Wendy's has overtaken them. Uh, so that was their idea on how to gain some uh, more credibility uh, with the breakfast because their breakfast lineup is extensive. Uh, but you put something like this on the menu, to me, this uh, would get more eyeballs on your breakfast menu than a uh, chicken sandwich with uh, just some type of uh, honey butter or whatever, honey uh, maple glaze. Whew. All right, one more bite. We'll give it a rating. Final bite. I'm enjoying this little mashup, this little product that I invented. Uh, at least I invented it today for me, for the purposes of uh, this video. Final bite. That's good. All right, let's give it a rating um, on a scale of one to 100, with one meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of. I'm giving the breakfast double bacon cheeseburger from a Burger King a rating of. It's like a 93. I would eat this for breakfast. I am full, I'm telling you, even after that many bites, uh, I still have another sandwich, like I said, but um, this one right here, fully endorsed, punch of approval. There you go, another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter, that is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, have you ever done this? Have you done something like this? Uh, for a place like this that sells burgers for breakfast, I don't know why more people don't do it, or maybe you do, maybe you do. I was glad I did, and I'm excited to try what's in the bag over here. It is a hefty, hefty bag, so uh, stay tuned for that, or maybe you already saw that. I, I mean, I don't know.